Hi everyone, welcome once again to our session for today. So we are going to discuss estimating partial derivatives from the tabular data. So for functions that are presented in tabular form, we can estimate partial derivatives by using adjacent entries within the table. For example, use the values of the wind chill index function function of t and v t is temperature v is the speed or velocity displayed in table 13.3.1 shown in this table to estimate the partial derivatives of the wind chill index function with respect to the uh, speed wind speed or velocity at uh, this temperature and velocity okay equal to 25 and 10 then compare this estimate with the value of the partial derivative obtained in example number four okay so to solve this problem we have to make use of this uh, average here this uh, expression so since the partial derivative of the uh, wind, wind chill index function uh, as a function of temperature and V with respect to the uh, velocity or wind speed. So it is equal to the limit of this ratio as delta V approaches to zero. Okay, if you look at the, the table, if you look at the table, so this part here, so when you look at the table, so this corresponds to uh, 25 is the temperature. Okay, 25 is the temperature. And we have 10 here, the, the wind speed in miles per hour. Now if you draw the horizontal line and also the vertical line, and the intersection between this vertical and horizontal line. All right, we have 15, so this corresponds to this value. Okay, which is this uh, the value for this one. Okay, now we can approximate the partial derivative by this. So partial derivative of this uh, with respect to uh, velocity. So this is uh, approximately equal to this one the ratio of this which is equal to this one so 25 then 10 plus delta v minus 15 so 15 here is the one that corresponds to this values which is 15 okay and now uh, we have here delta v so with delta v equal to 5 so what does it mean uh, delta v is 5 positive 5 so it means that if we increase the wind speed from 10 to 15, for example, so from 10 to 15, so it means uh, this is our delta V. Okay, so that's our delta V. Okay, so 15 minus 10, so that is equal to 5, that is our delta V. Okay, so when we increase the speed from 10 to 15, all right, so this is now our new new value. Okay, so this will be our new value. So again, you draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. So we just increase the the velocity holding the temperature as constant. So we have to take this value here, which is equal to thirteen. Right, this is equal to 13. So that's why we have here. Um, so when we take the value of delta V is equal to 5. Okay, so equal to 5. So 10 plus 5, this becomes 15. So our function, our, our W now, is function of T and V. So this is now 25 and 15. Okay, so 25 and 15, so so we have to take this value here, which is equal to 13. So that's why this is 13 minus 15, 
divided by 5 and this is equal to minus 2 over 5 degree Fahrenheit per mile per, per hour. Okay, so that is the second part. So we're taking the uh, delta V as positive. So what if we are going to decrease? So what will happen if we are going to decrease the uh, speed? Okay, so now uh, originally we have this. So 2510. So we have here originally we have 10 and 25 and we took this value okay so when you draw a horizontal line and a vertical line so we got this now what if you are going to we're going to uh, decrease the speed from 10 to say 5 okay so this time this is our delta v okay so our delta v this time is equal to negative all right so our delta v is negative okay so for example uh, as as we uh, uh, with with delta v equal to negative 5 so it means we, uh, we decrease it so so this is now our new value okay so Again, so then take this value here. So that's why in our uh, expression here, so partial derivative of w with respect to v, 25, 10, approximately equal to using this one, but this time we use the delta v that is negative. So we have 10 instead of plus delta v, we have minus delta v, which is 10 minus 5. So this becomes 25, 5. So 25, 5. So it means this corresponds to this value 19. So that's why we have here 19 minus 15, which is equal to minus 4 over 5 degree Fahrenheit per mile per hour. So we'll take the average. So negative 3 over 5 uh, equal to minus 0.6 per hour of these two approximations as our estimate. And then we get uh, from, from this expression 25, 10. So this is close to the uh, value which we have uh, calculated in our example number 4 using the partial derivatives which is approximately equal to 0.58. Alright, so we just took the average, right? So we have minus 3.5, we have minus 4.5, you take the average of that. Okay, so I hope you were able to follow this one class. Thank you very much and see you again in our next uh, video as continuation of this topic. Bye.